welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Valley Girl accents. Don't hurt yourself. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, sorry. For this list, we're looking at our favorite performances of that singular Southern California girl accent. If we missed any of your favorite vocal fry moments, let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Shirley the Loon, Tiny Toon Adventures. Like, here you go, little buggies. Plenty for all to totally share. Sometimes the best things come in very small animated packages. Tiny Toon Adventures is a delightful show that follows a bunch of cartoons as they prepare to become the next generation of Looney Tunes characters. The Toons all attend Acme University, and Shirley fills the sorority girl stereotype perfectly. <laughs> cool! Mung bean tofu whip! It cleanses your chakras! Shirley's a cute little animated bird, a loon to be exact, who speaks with a flawless valley girl accent. She has no problem telling off boys and doing so with gusto, her casual bite offset by the sweet pink bow in her hair. Voice actor Gail Mathias 100% understood the assignment. Get crucial! Like if that wasn't dead on or what? Number 9. Zoe Deutsch, Zombieland Double Tap. I feel like you're being super judgy. Like, I'm getting a real anti me vibe off of you. Zoe Deutsch started out as a Disney kid with small roles on shows like The Sweet Life on Deck. But now, she's landing big movies and proving she's one of the most charming comedy actors around. In Zombieland Double Tap, she turns that charisma on its head and turns the obnoxious level up to 10. Deutsch plays a character named Madison, a stereotypical dumb blonde who's been avoiding the zombie apocalypse by hiding in a pinkberry freezer. It keeps the zombies out, though it is awfully jelly. <laughs> Deutsch's styling is great, but she really nails the accent. Her nasally fry when she says words like cute and chilly is a great, if tropey, encapsulation of the Valley Girl voice. This place is so cute. Number 8. The Tweevils, Bratz. If you were a kid of a certain age, you probably came into contact with the Bratz dolls in some way or another. They were like Barbies, but for cool kids. Oh, it must be a craze. Ooh, we'll have to look into that. A TV show premiered in 2005, taking Barbie's SoCal vibes and dialing them way up, especially when it comes to the Tweevils. The Tweevils represent the worst things you could ever think about a Valley Girl. Vain, rich, and selfish. Maybe she's like secretly broke because practically no one reads Your Thing magazine. <laughs> the voice actors, Kaylee Cuoco and Lacey Chabert in season one, pitch their voices at what sometimes seems like an impossible high. When they speak in tandem, it's even freakier, like a Valley Girl version of the Shining Twins. Are you alone? No, we're with each other. Number seven, Lindsay, Total Drama. I'm bilingual. I speak fluent English and American. Has there ever been a funnier satire of reality television than Total Drama? We'll wait. We think the answer is probably no, and a lot of that is due to the way the animated program showcases various reality TV stereotypes. I'm pretty and smart, and I get along with everyone, even ugly girls. And of course, those stereotypes include the dumb pretty one. The character of Lindsay expertly fills that void, and voice actor Stephanie Ann Mills gives her the perfect valley girl voice to match. Once I told my math teacher that his new hairpiece looked like my dog's butt, but he totally took it the wrong way. My dog has the cutest curly little butt. Lindsay's accent complements her sweet demeanor for the most part, but our favorite moments are when the nastier parts of her personality rear their ugly head. I don't want to be BFFs anymore. I'd rather spend the day staring at Owen's butt than shopping with you. Number six, Ariana Grande, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Venti lattes. Ella, oh, I prefer grande. Say it with us, yeah. Jimmy Fallon has made the sketch one of his signatures. Since the days of late night and crossing into his Tonight Show run, Ill is something Fallon always returns to. Hi everyone, welcome to Ill. He's done it with Channing Tatum, John Cena, you name it. But our favorite iteration of the Ill sketch comes from one Ariana Grande. Fallon's vocal choice for his Ill character, Sarah, is just to be as grating as possible. Grande took a bit of a different approach, going straight up Valley Girl. Well. I posted a pic on Insta and only got like three likes. I'm literally dying. Her acting only bolsters her pitch perfect cadence, with vacancy and blissful oblivion rolling off her face in waves. Number five, 
Reese Witherspoon, Legally Blonde. If you ask us, mastering the perfect Valley Girl accent is a pretty difficult task. But if you asked Reese Witherspoon, she'd probably just hit you with, what, like it's hard? With her blonde hair and bright demeanor, Witherspoon already looks the part. When she starred as Elle Woods in 2001's Legally Blonde, she took the Valley Girl type and gave her own optimistic spin on it. Elle exudes Southern California sunshine, and every word out of her mouth fills you with endorphins. Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. Sometimes you can hear a bit of Witherspoon's original Southern flair peeking out. But those little nuances only make the accent more fun and interesting. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. Number four, Sean Wayans and Marlon Wayans, White Chicks. What a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> if we're being honest, all the main characters in 2004's White Chicks nail the valley girl type. Jamie King, Busy Phillips, Jennifer Carpenter, they've all got it down pat. So today, we figured we'd focus on actors who had a bit of a harder task, physically and vocally. You looking at my ass like I'm some kind of girl, man. You are a girl, and you better start acting like one or you're gonna be an unemployed girl. Sean and Marlon Wayans play the titular white chicks in this film, going undercover as white women to try and solve a crime. The makeup leaves a little bit to be desired, but if you close your eyes and just listen to the Wayans talk, it's hard not to convince yourself they are who they say they are. Kudos. Your mother's so old that her breast milk is powdered. You breastfeed like this. Number three, Amelia Clark, Jimmy Kimmel Live. We all know Amelia Clark, Daenerys Targaryen, first of her name, Queen of the Andals, and a ton of other stuff. Sheesh, that girl has a lot of titles. But you might not know Clark's wackier alter ego. Callie from the Valley. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel in 2015, Clark told a story about having to go to a Home Depot in the middle of the night when she needed an air conditioning unit during a shoot. So I called Jai, who was also having a serious, another problem, and was like, will you come with me to, to Home Depot at like 3 a.m.? Afraid someone might recognize her, she decided to go incognito. While telling Kimmel the story, Clark slips seamlessly into a flawless Valley Girl accent. I got so close to like getting Jai to buy me like a $700 air conditioning unit. <laughs> I like got the guy to help me. He was freaking out. It was awesome. If we were in that Home Depot, we definitely wouldn't have noticed her. Number two, Alicia Silverstone, Clueless. As if we could have left Cher Horowitz off this list. Uh-uh, no way. Ugh, oh, as if. 1995's Clueless is one of the quintessential Valley Girl texts, and Alicia Silverstone more than rose to the occasion. In addition to her multitude of amazing one-liners, Okay, you're probably going, is this like an Oxima commercial or what? Cher taught us that the Valley Girl can be popular and inclusive. She gives a rousing speech about the importance of international diplomacy, she takes Ty under her wing, and she tries her best to play matchmaker. Silverstone is able to play up the kindness, vapidness, and ridiculousness of Cher in equal measure. A lot of that performance comes from her perfect cadence and intonation. Oh my god, I'm totally bugging. I feel like such a bonehead. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Deborah Foreman, Valley Girl. When Valley Girl is literally the name of your movie, you better have actors who can do it right. And Deborah Foreman? Well, she practically wrote the Valley Girl accent manual. I know he likes you. Oh, like the way Randy likes you. For sure, Stacy. Starring Foreman and Nicolas Cage, Valley Girl gives a modern Southern California spin on the story of Romeo and Juliet. Foreman plays Julie, a rich, popular girl who starts falling for Randy the opposite of whom a valley girl should be dating. Well, like, my friends will freak, you know? None of us have had a dude outside of school. The movie was conceived with the intent of riffing on the valley girl fad, something it more than achieves. Everything Foreman does in this movie helped create the valley girl stereotype that we have today. Her materialism, her vocal fry, her tone, it's all there, baby. Man, he's just like triffindicular, you know? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.